Welcome again, folks. Uh, getting some work done here tonight. Uh, I've been out of town for the past couple weeks, so that's why the lack of videos here lately. But anyhow, I got the bars uh, put in there, got the axle back together for the most part. Still got to put the uh, axles in and get it full of fluid and stuff like that. But um, we're going back together now. So uh, this week, got to got to do some work, uh, but. In the evenings i should be able to get some time to uh, work on this so anyhow that's where we're at tonight uh i'm gonna call it for tonight so that way i can think about this and make sure i'm not missing anything we got to make our upper links up here yet and we'll go from there so back at it again forgot to pick up the camera the other night but i did get a little bit of work done got these here two short links made one on each side um so now our axle is located this way and also we've eliminated this. So next thing we're tackling is the uh, Panhard bar. Uh, these bags, if I mentioned in the last previous video, uh, I had these laying around and I was hoping to make them work, but they're just, they're too, they're too wide and I can't turn the bag this way because of the cross member for the gooseneck hitch and we're keeping that in place uh, because that's gonna get utilized. We're gonna cut a hole through the flatbed that's going on it and uh, keep that so. I can't turn them this way and then that would push them off the axle and I don't want to do that because they'd have to go way back and then I'd have to relocate the shocks so I just went ahead and ordered some uh, different ones uh, ones we used on uh, the last project for this customer so it'll be the same bag it should work out just fine I'll still be able to keep the bolts or the uh, studs or bolts or whatever we got on the outside of the frame, but it'll give us enough clearance for our wheel because right now it's just too tight. So other than that, we're working on the pan hard, like I said, and I've spent a lot of time thinking about this, different ideas, different possibilities. Finally got something that I think will work. Um, I cut the exhaust out of the way because one, it needs some attention. Uh, we're probably gonna be replacing some of it, but that it's a lot of the clamps are rusted out and stuff like that, so we need to redo a little bit of it but it was in the way for me to kind of get in here and figure out what we want to do so cut that out of the way and i was going to go on top of the axle this was this bracket here was cut i was figuring this out this was supposed to go up here like this but it was just too close to whenever this thing's bottomed out there would be, there would be no room for the exhaust i was going to go over the top of the axle that would have been simplest for the panhar bar um, and then i thought about going right from between the shock and this here and going across but then again we're still i have to make a weird bracket because we need we need that clamp uh or that clamp we need the uh uh mount to be the bolt to go through this way so that way it can ride this way 
and not bind up because if we have it on an angle which is what I need to do it needs to come off on an angle and then straighten up because otherwise if it was on an angle it just start it would try to bind up so the other plan now that we're going with these are the same brackets like I said and uh, kind of worked out but what we're gonna do is gonna come off the back side kind of like we did with the other uh, build of uh, I didn't show it but anyway um, come off the back side and then we're gonna come on down on the outside of the frame got some stiffeners I'll show you in a second uh, but this is this is what we're gonna go with because and this way by turning this bracket in rather than trying to we still have uh, about a 30 32 inch bar that we can get but this way if I do this it gives me clearance for the exhaust to come through here and uh, that way that'll be that'll work out just fine but we'll go from here from here uh, behind the shock now and drop down outside the frame so what we'll do over here is we're going to remove this whole bracket here cut these welds cut this out remove this whole thing clean it up and then I got this stiffener that's going to go on here and the reason for the stiffener is uh, this here is only you know probably not even eighth inch plate if we were to weld that panhard bar um, to this eventually that fatigue on that thin metal you know you take a piece of wire bend it back and forth it breaks that's the same same thing that applies here so we're spreading that load out and then so that'll go in there like that we'll weld up the the circles don't pay attention to that i programmed it wrong but we'll we're going to weld that up anyway so we'll do that and then we'll come off the side here with a couple pieces to get down to level to match that over there and we'll go from there i didn't plan ahead or i thought i had another heim joint i i was going to use this same style um johnny joint for that but the only way that would work is if we could get it the bolt to mount this way and I, we're going to be mounting it this way now so i need more um need more clearance more what do you call that so we got a heim joint this is off the uh, second gen project from way back when because it still ain't done um but i didn't have one so we're going to be using this bar i'm going to get a new joint to get this make sure this is cleaned up a little bit um but we're just going to cut down this bar to where we need it weld on a new uh bushing and that should be that should work out there and then we'll gusset that whole bracket in and make it nice and strong so i'm going to get to work cutting this off reinforcing and then we'll get a measurement on our drop down pieces get those cut and uh, let's try to get some work done today
been a minute since I picked up the camera, but we're pretty much wrapped up for tonight. Uh, I started putting the axle back together, putting the ax the actual axles in, um, and we we've got a good uh, good bit done today. But I'm a little behind schedule, so we got to pick it up here. But to say the least, uh, pan hard bars in fit. Um, it may be we may need to do some trimming on it because we got to put a sway bar in here somewhere. So. I kind of thought about that after it was already uh, in place, so my uh, my bad on that part. But I started getting the some of the uh, plates put on the tubes here and whatnot, and then my gun decided to not want to work anymore. So gotta get a liner, get a gun, something like that. Oh yeah, so I started putting the axes in. Well, this one here, I just so happened to park it right in front of this column, and I can't get the axle in, so I gotta wait until. <laughs> Get the wheels on it rolled forward get the axle in so um try to get everything gusted it up uh hopefully i can get some bags here for uh, too long get that wrapped up and then i can get this thing out of here i could you know support it uh put a support in here right now so that way i get the axle in but we'll see what happens um but yeah i just need to push forward just keep doing the little things here and there and we'll see what uh what the next video brings so thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one thanks guys